Good afternoon and good evening to all. Myself, Vaibhav. I welcome all of you to today's session of Visual J Forex, in which we will see how we can use the indicator named Volume to design an algorithm to trade profitably for the instrument of choice. So let us now head to the Visual J Forex board, which has been developed by the Dukoscopy Bank asset. Here I have added this Volume Indicator block, and we have to define only these three input parameters depending on which we will get the output value which then can be utilized to set the conditions in the manner we desire to execute the trade so this is the volume data which we will be relying on for finding the trading opportunities which we feel might be having the higher probability of ending in profit the logic is going to be simple and in this session I will not be going into the technical aspects of this volume indicator. Rather than that we will be focusing more on the functional aspects of it. We will see how we can take the advantage of this uh, volume indicator to look for the optimum trade entries. So let us now get to the visual J Forex, uh, visual, sorry, J Forex platform. This is the NZD USD chart which I will change to Euro USD. We will use the Euro USD as the instrument of choice for this session and we will be relying on the hourly price action data along with the volume data to look for the entry points. The logic is going to be quite simple. We, as we are aware, the classical interpretation of the volume is that whenever we see increased volume happening on any given price action, that means the activity is increasing on the given price and that means more and more market participants are getting involved in that particular trade. If the price action is showing upward momentum with the rising volume, that means the preference for the buy is uh, quite high for the underlying instrument. And if the conditions are reversed, if there is price decline in the underlying instrument accompanied by a strong volume, that means more and more people are willing to sell the underlying instrument and that is likely to sustain the momentum for uh, near term and uh, here we will be using the same logic but in a reverse manner we will see that uh, if we have already seen significant move on the upper side and then if we are expecting some sort of regression or reversion to the mean and uh, we are also seeing declining price interest data declining volume data then that means the initial momentum is now getting lost and uh, there is a possibility of turnaround happening as the volume is in decline so we will uh, take this formation and uh, we will look for the entry there and to set the conditions accordingly we will have to take the help of get historical candles along with the volume output data we will look for the volume data and uh, it should be in decline for uh, buy trade and uh, also it should be in decline for the sale trade so the price action should be utilized along with the volume data and uh, volume should be lower on both the sides and to determine whether this is the time to buy or to sell we will more rely on the price action so i will first explain to you the requirements for the buy trade we want the trade system to identify the situation where there is a possibility of reversion happening after significant move. So for that, we will compare the price action data over last 12 hours. We will take last two hourly candles along with the hourly candle which had closed 12 hours back. So there should be continuous decline recently. So that should be the case. We will be looking for the differences of the opening and the closing values for last two hours. So as you can see here, we do have these uh, price action in decline and uh, then we will also need the price formation to show significant decline prior to this last spurt on the lower side so for that we will compare the closing value of the second last hourly candle with the hourly candle which had closed 12 hours back and uh, it should be lower and uh, then we look for the price action data and uh, volume data and here Unfortunately, this will not be the time when our system will initiate the trade as we are seeing volume still on the rise. That means the selling pressure is strong and only if we see the 
volume starting to decline then only we can get involved for the new trade so this is uh, not the right time to go for the buy trade that's what our system will tell and here as you can see some uh, decline happens and then there is correction and again eventually declines further so that's how this system is going to be working for the buy side for the sell side we need significant price rise along with the volume data and for that we will be taking the last two hourly candle closing values and this should have higher closing values compared to the opening values and the last second last hourly candle should have also closed higher compared to the closing value of the hourly candle 12 hours back and uh, then the volume should start to decline only then we will uh, come to know that the price action is uh, not being accompanied by strong interest of market participants so that is uh, less likely to sustain so that will be the time when our order will be placed of course on the lower side so when we see this condition being fulfilled we will take into account the difference between the opening and the closing value of the last hourly candle and we will place the order on the lower side so as and when price starts to decline the execution will happen so that's how this system is going to be working and if we check here we have 9 gmt volume to be lower than the 8 gmt volume and also the 10 gmt volume is lower than 9 gmt volume whereas the price action is still strong but eventually this turnaround happens and that is what we want so our system will be identifying such kind of entries whenever those formation take place in the market so now let us head back to the visual j forex first and for that we need the logical components to define the conditions we are going to use three of these if blocks and this time around on tick will be our start point all right We have to get the instrument subscription done that means we have to match the default instrument with the tick instrument and tick instrument should match the instrument of choice which is going to be euro usd Here we have to look for Euro USD, and here it is. Finally, found it. And then the position amount data. All position, position amount should be equal to zero so first input equals second input and then we need this volume data so for volume analysis i will add two of these blocks this i will change to hourly and the 
break period is going to be one and two now we consider the price action data for that we need logical components sorry info components so i am going to add three of these get historical candle This one will also be changed to hourly. Back period of one. And then to pinpoint the exact entry point, we will consider the 10 second candle data. So I'm going to add two of these. this two will have the flow back period of one and two respectively So we have this formation in place. Now we also need to consider the difference between the closing value and the opening value of the last hourly candle. So for that I will add mathematical component calculation expression. So I will take candle 15, candle close and candle open price. And candle open. So there is going to be A1 minus A2. So this difference will come handy while setting the buy trade conditions. 
no i think for sale trade conditions not for the buy as price is on the rise as we will be deducting the candle 15 candle open from candle 15 candle close and i will add one more calculation expression to deduct candle 15 candle open in case price is still in decline so then we need to reverse this transaction we need to deduct candle close from candle open when there is decline Okay, so again, convention is going to be the same A1 minus A2. And this will be buy side. So now we have this bare bone structure in place. And we need to add the conditions for the execution of the trade. But as we are running short on time, we stop for the day here. And when we come back in the next session, I will explain to you how we can set the conditions for the execution of the buy trade. And uh, subsequently, we will also deal with the sell side equation of this uh, formation. So that's it from my side for the day. For further coverage of the market, do check out the Ducoscopy Analytics page. We are also available on the Facebook. You can reach out to us there for carrying out the testing and also for trading purposes, you will need uh, assistance of the GForex platform. It's a world-class trading platform. Do check it out. The links have been provided in the bio. Thank you all for joining in. See you next time. Till then, goodbye.